Welcome to Electron Online. Here's one of those videos where we answer the question for Ask Michael Anything. And this question was kind of interesting. It came from Justin Sankar. And the question was, what do you think about a peanut butter and cheese sandwich? Well, that kind of threw me for a loop. Peanut butter and cheese. My first reaction was, I don't think I'm going to like that, but that would not be a, a good way to start. We need to do this scientifically. Let's try that and see if it's any good. So what we did, or what my wife did, she made me some sandwiches, some small ones, one with just peanut butter, one with Havarti cheese, one with cheddar cheese, one with Swiss cheese, and then sandwiches where we have peanut butter and those three cheeses together. Now, I do have, for scientific purposes, a bottle of water to cleanse my palate so that I can try these and see if I actually like these kind of sandwiches. Maybe they're good. I'm a little skeptic, but we should be free of opinion until we've tried to do the test. So let's try that. To begin with, hmm, my, water, my mouth is watering because I'm anticipating the wonderful taste of a peanut butter sandwich. So that's my first one. Mm. I do like peanut butter sandwiches, but peanut butter by themselves. Very good. Enjoy it. No problem there. So now I get rid of that taste. And of course, my next sandwich is going to be a Havarti sandwich by itself. Just the cheese. Mmm. Good cheese. I love Havarti cheese. Good cheese. But now, for cheese and peanut butter together. Hmm, peanut butter and Havarti. I wonder how that's going to taste. Well, let's find out. The peanut butter kind of overpowers the cheese. I, I, I taste mostly peanut butter and a slight hint of, hint of cheese. And you know what? It's better than I thought. It's pretty good. I kind of like it. All right, well, we have to do this scientifically, so I need to try the other two cheeses. We'll try cheddar and peanut butter and Swiss and peanut butter. Maybe I'll like one more than the other. But first, cheddar alone. So here's cheddar alone. And cheddar cheese is really good cheese. I like it. Mmm, tastes delicious. And now, Cheddar and peanut butter together. Hmm. Sharp, sharp cheddar. Sharp cheddar. All right, let's try it. Again, the peanut butter seems to overpower the cheese. The cheese comes through just slightly. I think I like the Havarti and peanut butter better than the cheddar and peanut butter. Interesting. Well, one more try. Swiss cheese. Somehow, Swiss cheese has a stronger taste, and I would think that that might come through a little bit better with the peanut butter. So, again, we start out with a small bite of Swiss cheese alone. Mm, I do like Swiss cheese. Really good cheese. Mm. Matter of fact, I like just about any kind of cheese. And now we're going to try Swiss cheese and peanut butter. Let's see what that's going to be like. And thinking that Swiss cheese is a little stronger, let's see if it comes through a little stronger. Hmm. And it does. There with the Swiss cheese, I can taste the Swiss cheese much more clearly, even with the peanut butter. So it kind of drives the peanut butter in the background. The Swiss cheese comes through a little stronger. But ultimately, to my surprise, they're actually pretty good. Cheese and peanut butter together. But my preference still is the Havarti. Maybe to kind of balance it out a little bit more, I would put a little bit more cheese, a little bit less peanut butter, and try it that way. But, you know, that's my choice. And you know what? Surprisingly enough, it tastes pretty good. But my choice would be this combination with maybe a little bit more Havarti on it because it's a softer cheese and melts better with the peanut butter. I like it. I'm surprised myself. So you want that for breakfast tomorrow? Yes! <laughs>